Stacey and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. My name is Cyrus. Used to be young on East Coast Radio. I feel very seen and very attacked. Love. Not very cutesy, not very demure, not very mindful. Lovely. Uh, well done to Lungi, winning herself 11,000 Rand courtesy of Celsius' win big nice. competition. We will rinse and repeat, hopefully, making your dreams come true this coming Friday, run right about the same time as well. However, as Jay Spoo so correctly stated on a Wednesday, we entertain the children, we give away Celsius' money, take the credit for that, and then listen to other people's drama and try to quote unquote solve it. It's time for confessions. Confessions. Okay, it's happening. Alrighty, KZN, we're getting into it. And today's confession is quite interesting. And most people would say very relatable. So Mm. take a listen to the situation that we need to handle. Fandach. Hi, Stacey and J Spoo. My name is Lauren. So I moved across the country with the man who is now my ex, only for us to break up and for him to date the girl that he told me not to worry about. Wow. I guess I'm the fool in the story. Damn. Yeah. Damn. So, um, again, I feel very seen, very attacked. Oh, yeah, you've done this before. I've done this several times. How did and, it turn uh, out? Exactly the same. So what did you expect? Uh, well, you know what? I <laughs> deigned to have hope, Jay Spree. I try to hope. From where? I, well, that's, that's yeah. There you go. Live it, hey, learn it. Hey, so hey, Lauren hey. has moved across the country with a man. He then says to her... I've, this is cool that I know her. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't though. worry about her. See, that's already red big flag. red flag. Big mm-hmm. red flag. Then baby boy will go on to leave Lauren and start dating the girl she wasn't supposed to worry about. Damn. But now she is sitting like a chop in another part of the country. New job, needs a new house, uh. needs to find new friends. And she, like Jason Derulo, is riding solo. So in the spirit of people who are doing this left, right and center, because you're in a relationship and your partner... Gets a cool job opportunity or whatever, and you go, you know what? I can relocate my life for this person. We're simply asking in a snap poll today. Feel free to get anecdotal, get in your bag, but you can say yes or no. In your personal opinion, should you move for love without being engaged or married? And that isn't to say that that is going to lock it down in any permanent state. It's just you have some kind of like commitment, so you don't have to worry about baby girl at the office. Uh-huh. You understand? All right. So let us know zero six one seven nine three nine four nine. Nine, five. Uh, I've got lots to say about this, so stand by for that. In the meantime, Black or White, Michael Jackson and East Coast Radio. Yeah, move for love without an engagement ring or commitment. Ha! Huh? Florida. I don't like it. I love it. Or Florida, as my mom likes to call him. <laughs> Florida. She will not be corrected. You know what? If Mama Norman says it's Florida, that's Florida. Then so be it. <laughs> East Coast Radio. Stacey and Jay Spoo until 6, featuring, uh, you know, wisdom from my mother. And as it turns out, trauma from poor Lauren. We are rocking our confession of the week. Lauren has stipulated that she uh, moved across the country with man sisters. For love, guys, for love. And then she was told that there is this other goal, but she has nothing to worry about. <sighs> Fast forward, she had to worry. She should have worried. Narrator, she should have definitely been worried. He has uh, left Lauren for said other girl. And now Lauren is sitting like Kippy uh, in a new place with no money, no friends, and no prospects. And on the back end of that, we're just snap polling whether or not you think it's advisable to move, pack up your life, relocate, get a new job, move the cat, move the dog, move your plants if you are not engaged or married at least yeah so uh, i just want i just want to say this respectfully right and uh, because i come from a very traditional and cultural background uh, i don't recommend that you do this i'm not saying it's wrong and i understand people would do it for their own reasons maybe you feel like the relationship is 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 thriving and there's a commitment and there's intention here but for me personally if there's no ring on it what? Uh, uh. If there's no intention to get married Things like Having babies when you guys live together Can happen and then eventually you break up And then that child suffers So for me from where I come from Because I've seen a lot of this happen It always As far as I know See again respectfully As far as I know It's a no no I do not recommend Stacey is looking at me like I'm reading her to filth Yes I am in a very respectful way Well look in my defence I had to move from Cape Town to Joburg. Yes. There was a there was a boy. Yeah. A boy. He is no longer my boy. Okay. And then I moved from Joburg to Durban. There was a boy. It's no longer my boy. <laughs> so um 
you know, some of our baggage shifted during turbulence, uh, during during the move, obviously, and and nothing nothing will traumatize you quite like having to be in a sp- and you only have that other person. Yeah, yeah, you don't so know anyone else. I think it also depends on your stage of life, how old you are. I feel yeah. like if I was going to do something like that now, I'd be more measured and considered Calculated. around it. Yes, don't necessarily know that you need to be engaged and or married. You just need to understand that if this doesn't go right, you have guess guys guess what, you are not a tree you can pack your life up and go back you always have a choice in this but it's just uh, risky and some would say it was not calculated no but also some might say i love this person so why not and this is it guys life is all about choices choose wisely and you will not suffer so we got a voice note from carrie ann we were going to call her but she had her baby sick with the flu you know look at the weather who knows what's going on so let's uh, have a listen to to carrie ann friend of the show and advice giver Good morning, Nicola. This is Carrie Ann from The Drive Hive on the topic of moving for engagement. Uh, back in 2010, my husband and I met on Mixit for the first time. Mixit. Um, he was living in Mozambique and I was living here in Durban. Uh, six weeks after we first chatted on Mixit, he came for a visit because he had family in Durban. And um, six weeks later, we were engaged. He moved from Mozambique, came to Durban to live this side. See. We got married in 2014 and have been married for 10 years. So ours was a success story. All right, so there you go. Uh, there, there are a few. Yes, they can be miracles. But uh, we're continuing this conversation because I, I can sense that you, sitting in the car right now, listening to us having this conversation, have quite a lot to say. Should you move for love without being engaged or married? 0617929495. We're going to be playing your mashup in exactly seven and a half minutes' time after some no doubt. But I cannot wait to hear what you, when, when, honestly, have to say. Yeah, so every Wednesday after four, we have a confession by somebody and we ask you to weigh in, essentially solving other people's problems because, you know, we're great at doling out advice, not always so great at receiving it or taking our own, but we're all very proficient, very proficient at being like, I can make a judgment and I can help you with this. And people on the receiving end of this do find it very helpful. So today's confession is from Lauren. She's moved across the country to be with her man. He's saying to her, I met this girl, but you don't have to worry about about it, lol cat, she should have worried, he left her, he's with that girl, now she's in this new place. Should you ever move for love if there's no guarantee, i.e. engagement slash marriage already in the mix? Is that just risky behavior? Hey guys, it's Anita. Um, so I would say take a chance on love. Mm. At the end of the day, whether you're in a committed relationship or not, that doesn't stop a your love from joling. Hey guys, I'm Zondan from Menanda. Uh, for me, no, do not move out without engagement or commitment. Hey, hey, Stacey, J. Spoo. It's Janine from Kloof. I moved from Johannesburg to KZN for love, and we will be celebrating our 27th wedding anniversary Aww. next month. No, I'm not moving if there is no ring on my finger. <laughs> Listen, each their own. Uh, the full podcast is um, available on ecr.co.today, but as we wrap this up, uh, in my head, it's concluding to the fact that people are going to do what they want to do. Well, actually, 90% of the people who responded to this conversation across our WhatsApp channel, our social media, yeah, and today on our WhatsApp line, 90% of people said yes. Wow. You should. All right, so there you go. Do it. People going to do, do what it, people going to do. do. We're going to wrap up the show, rather the hour. Not Look the show. <laughs> Get a grip, babes. It's where there's like bedtime. Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.